Yo, what's up YouTube and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. Now, tonight you are getting two videos purely because this market is insane. Okay, so if you haven't checked out earlier's video, go and check it out. I promise you, you will make millions of coins, just millions. Now, I have a ton of cards invested and I will show you exactly how I'm making all my money over the last 40, 48 hours or 40 hours. And this is how I'm doing it. So if you're new around here, hit that sub button, guys. Please join the S1 Army and uh, support the channel with uh, with the movements going forwards. We are growing every single day as a community. So welcome to everyone that is new in. Get yourself over to Discord. But most importantly, can we hit 300 likes? Whew, big one. 300 likes in the first 24 hours. If you don't hit that like button, you ain't going to have pat luck, guys. So just bear that in mind. So... Let's quickly get into what we are doing. So as you can see, okay, anyone that knows uh, what, what's going on with FIFA tonight, there's uh, there's been a new SBC that's dropped and it's literally boosted the price of gold commons. Okay, these cards have gone through the roof. There's cards in here that are going for about 7.1k. Now, anyone that did a stock club with me, yes, I did a stock club, uh, what was it, probably about eight days ago when the market was literally dead. It was 350 coins for every card. I bought every single, like, pretty much league and main nation and main league cards. They have paid off because I'm literally five, six, ten times my money in some cases. And then almost 33 times, which is 10k when it sold. So we are making huge money. So make sure you, you stick around with the videos. Hit that notification bell. And the next club stock, the next possible time that we do it, we're just going to restock the club ready for anything that happens like this again. Yeah, you might lose 100, 200k into a you know your club stock but when it comes around to this you'll make four five six hundred k depending on what SBC drops so yeah it's very very worth doing it plus with the league SBCs coming out soon that is another reason to be doing it so what we're actually going to get into is we're going to get into the 10 20 30 method okay now this method is pretty easy you do need some coins guys you do need a coin balance for this one uh, I know a lot of people ask for higher uh, trading filters. This is one. You can do this with, you know, between... You probably go for about 50k upwards. The more money, the better. So what you're going to do is you're going to get into this here, okay? Now, you can't see what I'm doing on my other screen, but it is basically um, a foot bid. That's all I'm doing is I'm going to check the prices of anything that's been bidded on. So, like, this card here is actually going for 19,000 coins. Uh, if we can pick it up, we'll be laughing. Now, this guy here, remember, you need to try and remember sort of what the cards are going for. Okay, and when you do realize that, like, this card here is going for 15k. Now, he's actually obviously gone up a bit more since this here. So, we'll just quickly check market sales. Oh, I've lost him anyway, but I do want to go and check the other card. Because if I can pick up that other card, that'd be a, literally a, a straight up win for the first card. There you go. So, he's already... That guy almost got him for 11,500 coins, okay? 11,500 coins that guy almost got him. So this just shows you clearly that this will work. It's only me and one other person. As you can see, we're in a bit of a bidding war. Now, I can go up to 19,000 on this card, okay? Uh, his last sale was 20,750. Uh, 20, so he is going up, okay? And I'm going to make it look like there's two other people on this card. He may give up on it. I doubt it. At that sort of price, he will uh, he will just keep going. But I did win a Griezmann last night for 83,000 coins. He sold for 118. So, literally, this is the first card. And as you can see, we're in a bid and war with someone. I don't want to give it up for the purpose that he will make about eight grand off that card. So, let's try and eat into his profit. But uh, on Xbox, he's the same price. Now, let's see if we can go up to 16.5. I'm getting a little bit impatient here. But for the sake of the video, I am going to pursue it. Okay, purely because I believe um, this card's going to be an absolute money maker if we can make it. Again, I mean, I've added 8k onto this. He was going to get it for like 10,500 coins. So it just shows that there's huge profit. Now, if he actually bids that, he can have it. Okay, let's go and quickly search this card so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Now, Footbin is correct. Okay, this card is actually going for... Um, that's him there. Let's get his gold. Uh, sorry, team of the week. 20k. As you see, so he's down to about 19,000 coins. Okay, which is which is correct. His, his last one did just sell at 20,000 if you want to wait a little bit. So if I put it up to like 20,750, which is what the last one sold at, 
you can easily sell it at that. You just have to wait a little bit longer. So let's have a quick look and see if we did win it. I believe we did. Yeah, we won it. So the best thing you want to do straight away is literally list these up, okay? You don't want the market coming down on them. So that there, isn't if I listed it at the lowest, I would have made 250 coins. The fact that I'm going to make two, 300 coins for it is psych impressive. Now look at the Sancho card, okay? I bought him for 90,000 coins. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it on my, yeah, my webcam's not covering it. Now this card actually sells. Let's quickly go and check him, okay? He sells for about 100k now. Um, Sancho... There you are. Okay, there you go. All right, get his uh, ones to watch. And let's whack that up to uh, 110 and then bring that down. Okay, he's actually sat at 100k. He was 104, 105k just a second ago, as you can see. So, you know, there's nearly 10,000 coin profit just on that one card there. Now, I'm actually going to list him up, okay, purely because I want him to sell at a good price. Okay, so we're going to go and whack that one up. Let's bring that one down to about 107,000. So that's 17,000 coin profit. After EA tax, it's about, uh, EA tax is 5K. So, you know, pretty much, can't do the maths, 12K. Pretty much 12K profit just on that one card. Oh my God, you're so blonde. And as you see, I've got multiple cards here that I've picked up. But I want to show you some more of the method before I go listing those. Uh, but also, quickly, I just want to show you some of the other money that I've got invested. Because I know some people go, well... You're claiming you can make this much money, but, you know, you have, you've only got 200k. Boom. Sancho, 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 okay? Now, I bought these at the 5 o'clock drop-off. 92,000 coins. As you can see, they're already rising. 95.5k and 93k. I'm making money on those tonight. They will go up to about 117,000 coins. Again, as you can see, there's just multiple cards that I've got invested. Okay, so let's get straight back in to that sniping filter. But also, that's this is the other thing, right? So if you actually look at a card, okay, and you see that you've got one really cheap on a bid, then go and have a quick look and search for the other ones on that card, okay? Because nine times out of ten, you will get multiple cards that are dropping at that sort of price, okay? So again, as you can see here, okay, I picked one up at 90,000. Now, 97,000, I'm not interested. So I know that someone else is on that bidding it up at this moment in time. So again, back over to the 10, 20, 30 method. Okay, and if you've got big coins, there's nothing stopping you doing 20, 40, 60 method. It's just as good. So as you can see here, Dybala. Now, if I remember correctly, Dybala was one of my biggest profit makers last night. Okay, and I was actually selling them on for 13 and a half thousand. Now he's actually 12.5. Let's have a quick look what his last... He's been selling at an average 12... Point seven, so bidding on that would not make any money. That there is huge money. Okay, if we can pick that card up, a die op. Again, you want to be going through all these if you can. I mean, a Benzema at that price is is nice. Okay, but I want to see if we can get this die op here. What is his actual price? I need to find it before I start bidding up too high. This is the thing you get caught up in like some of these bids, bid battles. Oh, he's actually fifteen point seven, so I'm going to leave him at that. But that's a good good investment card. He will go back up at some point during the night. Again, this card here, that's a nice little card. Um, let's have a quick look. I think he was about 13k earlier. Uh, the later you get in, so this is going to be peak between 8 and 10 o'clock UK time, which is basically coming into that peak time, and then you've got the next two hours. But you can do this every night, okay? When there's new promo packs out or new SPCs that give out good packs, these cards are going to be in it, which just means you're going to absolutely destroy the competition with coins. So, GVA. Uh, okay, let's get this guy's inform price. He's going for currently 11.2. Okay, his last sale was actually 13k. So I'm going to I'm going to bid on that one for 11 and move on again. Courtois. This guy is going for in the region of about 30,000 coins, I believe it is. Okay, always use footbin if you've got a PC next to you make full uh, take full advantage of it as you can see this card here he's going for 22.7 he's dropped massively okay but what i was doing last night i was literally just going through and i was bidding on everything that's already been bidded on okay especially like these 84 rated cards because they're so cheap okay and i remember now already that this card's already 15k so i'm, I'm literally keeping an eye on that as we go through it that one there i mean chill world's going to be a good card but he's still he's still quite high Let's quickly check him. Chill well. Uh, 84 rated. Now, he's actually 13,000 coins. I can make a little bit more on that. Okay. I know I can. But I've been outbidded. So, that's absolutely fine. 
Okay, again, a Haaland. Now, he's actually at about 17,000, so it's getting a bit close to if we're going to make some coins off him. So, let's quickly go and see what we've won. And then we'll work out where we're going from there because I do want to show you some other things. As you see, we're not actually won any of those. Uh, that sold there. I want to check the price of this guy. Okay, I think he's about 14K. He's 13.5. So if we can pick him up for 11.5, that's about 1,750 coin profit. Okay, and then you've obviously got this guy here. Now he's way over. And chill well, I'm not interested in that sort of price. Okay, as you can see, we did win a Holland. And we did win that guy there. So let's quickly check uh, Holland first. Now we picked up for 15.5. He actually sells for 18.25. So he's gone up. That would be... Um, I don't know why he's gone up. That's actually crazy. Uh, so we're going to get that listed in a second. But let me find the price of this other guy here. So this guy here. Um, Suvez. Okay. He is... Where's he to? What was the eight four rated inform? He's actually twelve thousand coins. Okay, so let's go and quickly show him, and then we'll list him up and list some of the others up real quick as well. So let's have a quick look. Eight four rated. That's insane. Like the market right now is absolutely crazy for these informs. Inform market's dead. Um, why are you not popping up? S U A. Uh, okay, so it is. Is that his base there? I can't find his card. What's his? Oh, Damien. I, I don't like the fact that you can search it sometimes, right? And it doesn't come up. Okay, that's him. Okay, let's get his gold team of the week. And let's go up to 12,000. Now, as you can see, he's there 11.5 with three minutes on the clock. So, you know, you could easily sell this card. And his last lot of prices was actually, he's at a high of 20,000 coins, uh, which is obviously someone's misclicked that by mistake. But yeah, averaging 12.7. So I'm going to go and list him up for 12.5 and get him sold as quick as I can. So let's clear all those up real quick. So 12,500 coins. Again, that's a nice profit. It's about 12.50. Uh, now, Torre, I paid a little bit more for this Torre. Okay, now I paid 23,000 coins. He's going for about 24 and a half. I'm hoping he goes up overnight. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Now, after EA tax, I'm only making about 250 coins on that card. And this one here, again, the same. I'm going to go for 24,750. Okay. Uh, this card here, I forgot what this card was. So let's quickly go and check him. Um, I've literally only just checked him as well. And I've, I've completely forgot. He's going for 12,75. So again... As you can see here, there will be some around that sort of price. Yep, I mean, he may have even gone up a little bit more. Okay, but we're going to go 1275. That's going to make me 750 coin profit. <coughs> now, Lukaku. This Lukaku is a good card because this, again, as you can see, I was flipping this guy earlier. Or sorry, not earlier, last night. And he's actually going for 17,500 coins. So, I've made myself about... Um, about a thousand coins nearly. No, sorry, about 500 coins. So we're going to put it at that. Okay, so that's nice profit on that. And then Haaland. I've, I've got to remember what Haaland is. Let's have a quick look. Footbin's such a good app. Or Footwiz if you're into that one either. Okay, yeah, so 17 and a half thousand. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, well, I've put them up 500 coins cheaper, but I've still made profit. So, again, as you can see, loads of cards will be selling. They're not straight away like instant sales. Like, because of the coin balance, we can afford to let them stay on the market for a little bit. The Sancho's are going to be overnight listing. Okay, but this is the other method that we can get into. And that's the 20, 40, 60 method. Okay, so it's exactly the same sort of method. But just bigger cards are going to come up into it. People with uh, bigger coin balances definitely going to be able to profit from this one so like a sterling okay let's go and check this boy's price real quick now we kind of need to get these nailed on he's actually thirty-one thousand coins but if you go to market sales history okay he's actually at a low right now uh his highest is a 34.25 and that was at 721 
which was 45 minutes ago. So he is going up. Okay, but then there's other cards like this guy here. Muki, again, this was another good trading one. And you'll find later on in the evening that this card will absolutely blow because you'll be able to pick him up so cheap. Uh, he's actually going for 45,000 coins. So if we can grab that, we'll be laughing. Oh, my days. I almost bought that out pay right. Okay, no, that's not what I want. So, yeah, that's basically the trading methods, guys. I mean, I knew this video wouldn't be able to pick up too many because of the time. I mean, I kind of wanted to get this one recorded by 9. Uh, well, around 9 o'clock, uh, which is an hour from now. But I know that once I've dropped this, you guys will be doing this method. You will have the peak time. So that's the most valuable bit is that you get the peak time, not me. Uh, but with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Tell me that you love me